I'm Eric Griggs, and I'm going to explain how to properly use the CBE Sight Gauge tool. To properly use this tool, the first thing you want to do is you want to sight in at a distance of 30 yards. You want to take your time, make sure you get a really good mark, um, be happy with your impact point, but most importantly, just make sure that your, your, your impact point is, is accurate and that you've effectively taken the time to, to shoot this mark in. Once you're there, you'll actually make a mark on the sight at 30 yards, and then you're going to adjust the sight to a distance and sight in again at 60. Once you've again taken your time, made a good mark, you're very happy with your, with your impact point, you're going to take the sight gauge tool and you're going to lay it on there and you'll see which mark lines up with 30 and then which mark lines up for the corresponding number down here. One side has even numbers and one side has odd and you'll find that one of these marks will line up almost exactly. In this case here, if, this was, if we were sighting in, this would line up perfectly for the number 13. So I'm going to take this, number 13, and I'm going to grab the actual sheet of sight scales and then I'll find the corresponding number. So this number 13 right here, this is the sight scale that I would cut out. I would take scissors, I would cut this scale out, and I would ply this, putting the 60 mark underneath the indicator needle that I had sighted in for 60. From there, all of the other yardages will be on.